Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this broken glass effect with an image or scene behind it. We're going to render this scene in cycles, which will take longer than EV, but the glass will look much better. To start off with, we'll need to enable a couple of add-ons, so head over to the Preferences tab and click Add-ons. The two we will need is the Images as Planes add-on and the Denoise one. Click Save Preferences and then close the window. Now we can start modelling. First of all, use Shift A to add a plane and then scale it up with S and then 5. Now go into edit mode with tab, top view is 7 and then use the knife tool from the sidebar. Now we can click around the edges to create as many cuts as we would like. Once you've made all the cuts you want, press enter to finish the action. Now tab back out of edit mode and go to the particle tab to add a new particle system. Change the end frame to 1 so that all particles are released at once. Now if we press space to play the animation, you'll see the particles fall. To prevent this, go to the Scene tab and turn off Gravity. Now we can add the Explode modifier after the particle system. It will use the direction of the particles to determine the direction of the broken pieces. To make the particles spread out, we're going to add a force field. Now when we press play, all the particles move away from the centre. The shards also move, but they are rotated incorrectly. To fix this, under the particle settings, select Rotation. If we want to make them look a bit more realistic, we can add a bit of randomization by increasing randomize and randomize phase. Now we need to add a solidifier modifier to the plane to make the glass have some thickness, which is important so that light can catch the edges. Then go to the materials tab and create a new material and change it from a principled to a glass shader and change the roughness to 0.05. Now I'm going to add in the image that we will be seeing behind the glass. To do this, we'll press Shift A, then Image and Images as Planes. Choose the image you want. I'm going to use this photo by Daniel Montero, which I got from Unsplash. Clicking Accept will bring the image in as a plane with a pre-generated texture. Position the image how you would like behind the glass. To make this neon look more pronounced, we're going to head to the Shading tab and alter the material. Where the default diffuse material created by the Images as Planes add-on is, we're going to create a mixed shader between a principled and emission shader. Change the emission strength to 5 and connect the image colour output to both shaders. Also connect the colour output to the mix nodes factor input and add a colour ramp in between. Crush the white and black values together so that only the light parts emit light into the scene. Now we can position the camera using the lock camera to view function in the sidebar and change the image to portrait by switching the resolution numbers under the output tab. Now we can render out our image by going to render and then render image. At the end of the render, clicking Quick Denoise will apply AI denoising to the image, massively reducing the noise with almost no loss of detail. You could also create an animation by rendering multiple frames of this scene. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and if it's helped you out, please consider sharing it. Please consider commenting what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.